All right, guys, the first mythical Pokemon event for Pokemon Sun and Moon has just begun. Now's your chance to get Magearna in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And this is the craziest Pokemon event I have ever seen. So let's go and figure this one out. Complete the main story. That might be unfortunate for quite a few of you guys to hear that this might be some incentive to finally go and beat the game. You might have gotten the game recently or you just don't have the time to beat it. Well, now you should do that because that is the only way to get Magearna. After that, choose the QR scanner function, line up the QR code for Magearna while pressing the R button, visit the delivery man in the Antiquities of Ages shop in Haoli City, and then you get Magearna and then you save your game. Like, what? How did... Okay, that's pretty crazy right there, so let's go and figure this one out. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, so I'm going to open up my QR scanner, get ready for some crazy Inception stuff, but now all I need to do, go to my computer screen, snap a picture, and that is going to be the QR code, just like that, and hey, it's the data for Magirno. That's a special QR code and stuff, yeah, and that tells you to go to the Antiquities of Ages. So there we go, guys. Also... We get 20 scanning points for that because it is a special code, which means I guess you could scan it every day and then get 20 points towards your island scan if you want to do that as well. I think that's my how, that's how it works because I think you can uh, scan multiple codes a day or like you can scan the same codes every day. So let's go inside the mall right next to the Pokemon Center and then what we have to do is find the Antiquities of Ages shop. I've actually never been there, so I'm just going to assume it has a delivery man outside and it's somewhere. Aha, so the antique shop is on the right hand side. Like I said, I haven't been here yet, but there you go. You are Verlus, right? I have a Pokemon here for you. So that's how we get Magearna and the delivery man thought it was an antique. So he went there instead. And this like changes everything because now it shows that QR events might be programmed in the game. We don't know how many there are, but this is like a special event in the game because it just doesn't drop off a Pokemon at the Pokemon Center. It doesn't just add it to your party that you have to go through and go through this special bit of dialogue in this special part of the game. And that means like I didn't have to connect to the online. I didn't have to update my game or anything. So this was actually programmed in the game with a special QR code. So maybe the Pokemon company has a little bit up its sleeve. Now, there we go. Uh, what I like to give Magirna a nickname. Nah, and then we add it to the party. And the cool thing about Magirna is that it comes with a bottle cap. So, um, yeah, it looks like he's just going to head on out. And, ooh, what's this? It's a Pokemon that people like me refer to as a mythical Pokemon. It's a real treasure more precious than you know. It was made hundreds of years ago. So, there we go, guys. That is going to be, be the Magirna. And I believe that we can go and... Oh, man, I should have saved beforehand because you can soft reset it. Uh, there we go. We can take a bottle cap off this Pokemon as well. And I guess we could go to the left and learn about hyper training if we needed to. But there's a couple of interesting things about this Magearna. It is shiny locked. There is absolutely no way of getting a shiny Magearna in Pokemon Sun and Moon right now. That there is no shiny event. Any shiny Magearna you see is 100% hacked. And anything dealing with its alternative form is also going to be illegal. So Magearna right now is pretty much just available like this. Especially if you are just now getting it for North America. And I guess the rest of the world is also getting the event at some point as well. I'm not sure how the... Europe distribution goes so you might want to go and check your local Pokemon website to figure that one out But yeah, that's pretty crazy stuff right there Also, I wanted to go and go for some craziness right now because we also have the Meloetta event going on for Pokemon XY and Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire So oddly enough we, we don't have this going on for Pokemon Sun and Moon. That you have to go back into your older games, which I'm going to do right now. So the Meloetta event is pretty much just going to be Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. And it's the grand finale. We round out the Pokemon 20th celebration with a chance to get the elegant Meloetta via the Nintendo Network. So, so this won't be a GameStop, Game Stores, UK, whatever. This is just going to be hop on the Nintendo Network, get your XY, get your Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and then you'll be good to go from there. So actually what I ended up doing was I just swapped out my games. Actually, I have uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon downloaded over here. So I just put in my Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, or Omega Ruby or Alpha Sapphire version, and now I'm going to go and receive it via the Nintendo Wireless. So it's not really too difficult as well that we pretty much go to the home setup, we go to Mystery Gift, we receive our gifts via wireless, and then we're still going to go. So that's like one of the weird things is that when we first saw Pokemon Sun and Moon being, an actually no, when we first saw the Pokemon 20th anniversary, we were like, wait, why is this going in December? Are we going to go another year without a new Pokemon game? Then we saw the announcement for Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's like, okay, so a Pokemon game is coming out, but... When are we going to get it? Is it going to be this year at the end of this year or what? But it still shows that with the Meloetta event that the events are running in Pokemon Sun and Moon, in Pokemon X and Y, even though the new game is already out. So I guess until Pokebank happens, there's not going to be like 
a complete cutoff of everything that's going on. I think it's kind of weird because I feel like they could have started the event distribution in January, but I thought that um, Mew started in February or something, and then it ran into December for the Meloetta and stuff. So let's see, I think you have until the 24th, so De December 1st, through the 24th on the Nin Nintendo web Network if you want to go and pick up the Meloetta. And then if you want to receive Meloetta, you go into Pokemon Center and then you go and talk to this girl right here and then she'll give you your gift. But my Pokemon party is full so I can't receive it. And holy crap. That is a different... I haven't played XY or Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire until now since Pokemon Sun and Moon came out. And it's just wow that we saw Pokemon X and Y. It's like, yo... This game's graphics are mind-blowing. And then when we saw the fifth generation, yo, this game's graphics are mind-blowing. And then, like, after, like every generation has stepped it up so much that I'm playing, like, it's hard to believe I'm playing this on the same cons. Like, yo, Pokemon in 3D, mind-blowing. Look at these real, full character models and stuff. That's ridiculous. And then we go into Pokemon Sun and Moon, and it's, it's so much different. Even with the trainer customization in Pokemon X and Y, it felt... Like, we, we had control. It felt like we were playing a real person. And now, that's it feels like I'm playing the original Ruby Sapphire games again. Like, it's so chibi and spritey by comparison. I Wow, that that's just mind-blowing. Okay, so there you go, guys. How to get Magearna and also the Meloetta event for Pokemon Sun and Moon and the other 6th generation games. So, guys, enjoy the video. Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.